Toys and toy buying are big news, and not only at Christmas time. For as we know, toys are purchased by parents to mark many occasions and to satisfy many whims. But which toys, regardless of price, are the best ones? Which give dollar value while satisfying the safety, educational, and yes, design and engineering features demanded by today's informed consumer? Continuing and highly exaggerated selling techniques still confuse many parents. So guidelines are being set up to help parents measure the value and suitability of toys and hobbies. Such a program was initiated by Popular Mechanics magazine. As featured in its November issue, PM spotlights the winners of its first annual Toy and Hobby Merit Award program. 81 companies entered 145 new toys in the competition for play testing and judging by a panel of experts. 20 winners were selected on the basis of the toy's durability, safety, and educational or instructive value. This is a typical laboratory test, which the popular mechanics editors coupled with the other examinations, laid out in the test criteria developed by the judging panel. Undergoing the heat or melt test is lakeside toys, vegetables that grow in the ground. A chemical lacquer called alpha temple is applied to the plastic parts. Each bottle and its color indicates a different temperature peak. When heat is applied and critical temperatures are reached, the painted on chemical, which dries with a grainy appearance, will become liquid and melt. This tested the toy's ability to withstand temperatures up to 150 degrees Fahrenheit, more heat than the toy would be exposed to under normal circumstances, including leaving it on a hot radiator or in the rear deck of a car in a hot sun. This and other safety tests are intended to determine whether certain toys, if left unattended, will cause damage to clothing, create fire hazards, or disintegrate into dangerous or damaging materials. The plastic vegetable garden passes the test as a toy that children of the age group it was designed for can play with unattended. Likewise, the judges select it as an award winner, citing educational and instructive features, such as stems of the plastic plants, shaped to fit the correct vegetable. In addition to heat testing, toys are inspected for sharp edges or parts which penetrate or injure. From Rainbow Crafts, this is the Play-Doh Forge Press 3D Toy Molder for children five to 10 years. In originating its Toy and Hobby Merit Award program, Popular Mechanics received the encouragement of manufacturers of playthings introduced to the market in 1962. Using their popular Play-Doh modeling material, which is safe and soft, Rainbow developed an appeal to children's interest in making familiar, recognizable objects. The molds are colored in pairs to help the younger child fit the parts together easily. From successful heat test, to the hot and eager little hands of the consumer. Designed like a real forge, this toy works simply and easily. Cows, horses, pigs, sheep, dogs, a whole barnyard full of animals can be made by the youthful technician. Now, the test of Westinghouse's $13 Little Garden Electric Greenhouse. This is a device which is plugged into an electrical outlet and which conceivably could have water in it. So it is plugged into the outlet and checked for shock hazards. As many parents know through painful personal experience, children can cause damage or harm to themselves through childish enthusiasm or curiosity. Philip Dykstra, chairman of the Home Safety Committee of the National Safety Council, assisted the editors of Popular Mechanics in setting up tests that would assure that only safe toys and hobbies received consideration for awards. A leading educational psychologist, Dr. Viola Thiemann, professor at Northwestern School of Education and director of the University Children's School, supervised the two-day testing of the toys by 20 children. The third judge was a product designer for the Illinois Institute of Technology, Professor James Montague. In a further test of the electric greenhouse, a plastic container outside the greenhouse is used as a control 
to illustrate that the seedlings in the containers inside the greenhouse have a distinct advantage in growth. This type of control container can be duplicated by the young hobbyist at home. A Westinghouse portable phonograph undergoes electrical tests. The technician deliberately exposes metal parts and checks with a voltmeter to make sure that even with a knob pulled off, there is no shock hazard. The portable phonograph is a unit with the serenade doll and broadcasts remotely through a speaker inside the doll. The doll itself is not overlooked by the testers. Dropped from more than twice tabletop height, the doll containing the remote control speaker not only survives the ordeal, but she keeps on singing. The record player functions satisfactorily after it too is drop tested. Anything together, let's be. Playmates laugh together, hum together, have a lot of fun together. Let's be really friends. The play testing goes hand in hand with the technical examinations. Passing the test of efficiency in action is Eldon Industries' Bolomatic Bowling Game. All the skill and fun of real bowling with even an automatic pin spotter to reset the pin. From the Ideal Toy Corporation, Odd Og, the mechanical frog. When the ball hits the center bar beneath his mouth, he rolls forward. But he opens his mouth and sticks out his tongue when the ball misses. Entertainment and educational value as well as design and resistance to the play ordeal are sought after features found in the musical Tick Tock Clock from Fisher Price Toys. From Lewis Marks and Company, Dino, battery-operated replica of the Hanna-Barbera cartoon character. And from the same company, the Mystery Spaceship, a gyroscope-powered space toy. Every entry is tested for finger-trapping tendencies, loose parts, or inherent imbalance if weighty. The Scotty Bagpipe from Kenner Products Company. This musical toy is designed for the three to teenage group. The horse van from Buddy L Corporation. Real springs cushion its load. Boys and girls from two to eight are considered likely candidates for this playful chore. An accepted workhorse among toys. Expensive Tinker Zoo from the Toy Tinkers is an imaginative toy whose dowels and geometrically shaped sections go together to make any number of objects. Gerald? Geraldine's playmate calls her with the Big Blast, a transistorized Gerald? toy megaphone with good reaching power from Bell Products. Found suitable and safe for busy and inquisitive two to five year olds, the Doodle Dashboard by Multiple Products Corporation. Childish enthusiasm and curiosity can be expended without damage or harm. The Space Phone Kit with Walkie Talkie from Electro Solids Corporation for youngsters 12 years and up is scientific and educational. The Milton Bradley Company's Fact Finder educational game a pinball teacher for ages 6 to 14, it makes math, sports, and other subjects exciting. As the ball zigzags down the question slit it selects, the player must quickly choose the hole with corresponding answer to score. 
The shortwave radio by General Electric, a five transistor set for experimenters 14 years and older. It is thoroughly tested for design and interior layout and super head quality. The science book Lab of Chemistry from the Science Materials Center. This set is tested and all materials found to be safe for children. The experiments can be performed without the need for constant parental supervision. Important to all parents, of course, is that the liquids are not harmful and that there is no likelihood of staining clothing, nor that damage will be done to floors or tabletops. Little girls like to tinker and experiment, too. The girls on the Popular Mechanics Children's Panel are fascinated by the Make Your Own Perfume Hobby Kit from Lisbeth Whiting Company. During the test, the judges noted which toys drew the most spontaneous interest and which best survived the play ordeal. The new toys selected for testing ranged in price from $1 to $40 and appealed to age groups from one year to mid-teens and adults. And all would be on the Christmas shelves in stores across the nation. The Big T from Monogram Models, a detailed custom car kit. Popular Mechanics tests it for accuracy and quality of molding, all 187 parts. This is a true custom show car and one of the most popular hot rod types. It has a 1924 Model T Ford body. The engine is a modern Chevrolet fitted with a special intake manifold. Actually, parts from 11 different autos were scaled one and one half inches to the foot to produce the big T and ensure accuracy of detail. Here is play testing that is very personal for the lad becomes lost in his chore. From both the youngster and adult viewpoint, the Big T earns its standing among the 20 top toys and hobbies, receiving the Popular Mechanics Gold and Silver Awards. The finished product, shining triumph for toy and youthful craftsmen, it and the 19 other winners meet the standards of originality. Design or operation of toy should be new in concept or a fresh variation of a familiar principle or idea. Entertainment or educational merit. Good toys aid the mental, physical, social or vocational development of the child. Good design and engineering. Practical construction, appearance should express toys basic idea. Parts should fit, instructions clear. Durability. Toys should stand up under normal child use and abuse. Replacement parts should receive consideration. Safety. Age of the child for whom toy is designed determines many safety considerations as stressed in tests. Value. Toys should be of good value for the money based on above criteria and prices of similar toys. Thus have popular mechanics judges presented their cream of the crop selection of toys. A guide on how to buy toys through severe, impartial, and thorough tests of toys from reputable manufacturers. Toys certified scientifically and mechanically sound. Paints, finishes, and materials non-injurious. The toys of the year.